Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're just here to talk about how to do trigonometry sine waves. Now, as you might imagine, if you've studied the sine function by now, you'll know that the sine function graph is that of a wave. So in terms of how to do the trigonometry sine wave, you want to just think about creating an xy chart using the function y is equal to sine of x. And so let's look at a quick xy chart, and you'll kind of see how all of this goes. Now, being that we're using angles here, let's start off with the most common angles that we know about when it comes to sine, and that'll help you draw it pretty easily. It always, it always is nice to start out with the angle 0, and then pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and then 2 pi, just to kind of close out the cycle, if you will. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to plug in all of these individually in place of x, and you'll go from there. Now, when you plug in 0, sine of 0 is equal to 0, so when x is 0, y is 0. Now for pi over 2, sine of pi over 2 is equal to 1. That's one of those common trig values. Now with pi, sine of pi is 0. For 3 pi over 2, when you plug that in place of x, sine of 3 pi over 2 is equal to negative 1. So y is negative 1. And then 2 pi, now 2 pi you've come full circle, so 2, fi, 2 pi is going to have the same value for, on the y side as 0, so y is going to be 0. Now in terms of plotting it, think about it this way. Make ticks for pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. Now keep in mind that the sine waves, as well as cosine waves, they keep on going. So this just represents one sample of it. So when x is 0, y is 0, pi over 2, 1, pi 0, 3 pi over 2 is going to be right here, and then 2 pi is like this. So the idea here is, just and this will be a rough sketch, a wave goes like this. Now the graph does continue, so let me just draw It going this way to kind of show you that the graph does continue. But I would definitely keep in mind that this is the pattern of a sine wave because you're going to be using it for um, other sections in trigonometry as well as other math courses. So I'm Jimmy Chang and this is the process on how to do trigonometry sine waves.